gente, I'm back finally with another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys three recipes for an amazing ingredient, cauliflower. You guys might be thinking cauliflower is like the most simple ingredient out there, the most basic as vegetable, but I promise you it's very versatile and very delicious when done the right way. This right here is a baby cauliflower. If you guys didn't know, there are very many different variations of a cauliflower. They come in different colors, they come in Japanese style, they come in regular style. Today we're gonna be using the regular basic cauliflower that you see in most American stores, and it's probably one of the ones that you can find the easiest out there. Before we get into the actual recipes though, I wanna make sure I show you guys how to properly cut a cauliflower, because if you haven't done so before, or if you have, it can be a very messy scene on your cutting board and it gets very annoying to clean up. So to cut a cauliflower properly, what you're gonna do is flip it upside down with the root standing up. You're gonna go ahead and cut around that root and then you're just gonna pull it apart and you're gonna start cutting the florets apart and this is gonna leave you with very little garbage left over. What you can do with this is either add it to a smoothie, add it to your compost, and you're good to go. And as you guys can see, you're left with very little to clean up. So we're gonna get started with my most favorite recipe out of all three. This is a vegan chicken alfredo. something I like to make all the time because basically it's all natural ingredients, pretty much vegetables, and it's so good for you, super easy to make, and it's very filling. So to start out, we're gonna go ahead and roast some cauliflower florets. Put this on a baking sheet with a little bit of oil. I don't salt or pepper this because I like to just roast up naturally. I let that go for 30 minutes until it's nice and browned. While that's cooking in the oven, I like to go ahead and get my pasta ready. You can use whatever pasta choice you would like. Just cook it to the pasta cooking instructions and you are ready to go. When that's done, we're gonna go ahead and saute our oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms are so meaty, very chicken-like. This is basically the chicken of all the mushrooms and it's so good. I really don't do much of these oyster mushrooms other than adding salt, pepper, letting them saute in a pan. Once they're nice, browned, and softened, I let that sit aside because if you do anything else to it, you kind of ruin them. They're just delicious as is, do not touch them. Now we can go ahead and get the rest of our sauce going. Basically what you're gonna do is heat up some olive oil, cook some minced onions and celery in a pot until it gets translucent, and then we're gonna add all of our ingredients to a blender. To get our sauce ready, we're basically gonna add everything to a blender. So we're gonna go ahead and add our celery and onions with cauliflower, two garlic cloves, onion powder, garlic powder, nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor. We're gonna add salt and pepper, and of course, our non-dairy milk. Give that a good mix until it is nice and smooth. In a pot, we're gonna go ahead and melt some Parmesan cheese of your choice, make sure that it's vegan, of course, with some vegan butter, and then we're gonna add the rest of our liquids into it. I let that go for a little bit, make sure that it's all heated, and then I'm gonna go ahead and combine our pasta with our sauce, top that with your oyster mushrooms, and this dish is ready to be eaten. It's one of my favorite dishes. I hope you guys try this because it's honestly so creamy creamy, so good, and you can add whatever seasonings you would like to switch up the flavor, but these basic seasonings with roasted cauliflower just go hand in hand. Next up we have some cauliflower wings. This isn't your normal baked cauliflower wings. These are deep fried chicken wings with cauliflower, and it's so good. The first step is to go ahead and cut the florets into a chicken wing side. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and get our dry mix going. So basically what I do is add in some chickpea flour with all of my seasonings. I added garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, pepper. You can also add cayenne pepper for a nice little kick of spice, and this is ready to go. Now we have to get our wet mixture going. So basically what I do is add in some chickpea flour with some non-dairy milk. Of course, it has to be unsweetened. If not, you're gonna have a very bad taste. I also added some buffalo sauce to this to make sure that it's nice and hot when I bite into it. And now you're ready to mix. Basically what you're gonna do is add that to your dry mix, your wet mix, and then your dry mix again, and then set this aside until your oil heats up. Once your oil is heated up, you can go ahead and add this to the pot. Make sure that you are very careful. Cook it up on all sides. Once it's all nice and browned, you can set that aside, add a little bit of salt and pepper on top. You can also add more buffalo sauce, and this is ready to be eaten. This is my favorite way to eat cauliflower wings, and they're honestly the best that I've ever had to date from restaurants or creating them on my own, and I think it's honestly the chickpea flour. Also, you guys go ahead and make that vegan ranch recipe that I have on my channel as well to so go with these cauliflower wings. I promise they go very well together. Last but not least, we have mashed cauliflower potatoes. I don't even know what 
to call this. But basically, it's mashed cauliflowers that taste like mashed potatoes because it has potatoes in it. I don't know. It's really good. Let's get right into it. So our first step is to cut up our potatoes and cauliflower to kind of the same size because when you bake this in the oven, you want to make sure that it's cooking evenly because when you're mashing it later on, it's going to be hard if some pieces are hard and some are not soft. You just want it to be like nice and blended. So make sure that it's cut up the same size and put this in the oven to cook up nice. Once your vegetables are nice, soft, brown and for tender, go ahead and add that to a bowl. You can also add this to a food processor to make sure that you guys have like a smoother mashed potatoes, but I wanted this to be a little bit rustic, so I'm gonna use a masher in a bowl. Then you can go ahead and add your seasonings to this, butter, give it a good mix, and then you can add your non-dairy milk. Make sure that it is unsweetened because of course, like I mentioned in the last two recipes, it will mess up the dish. If you wanna be a little bit fancy, use a ice cream scooper, scoop it out the bowl, put it on a plate with your cauliflower wings and some greens, this dish is so delicious. I love these mashed cauliflower potato things. Like, it's one of the easiest recipes as well, and it's just one of my favorite things to make. And it's just like nice, buttery, and starchy, and just like good for you. I hope you guys try this because it's it's really good. Cauliflower. Who would have thought the most simple? basic ass ingredients can be turned into so many amazing things. If you guys don't like cauliflower, you're probably just not cooking it the right way. It took me a while to get to this point to really find out what I like, and I realized that my favorite way to eat cauliflower is actually just roasting it in the oven, a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil, and it's just like a nice side, or you can add it to salad. It's just like a really simple way to beef up or veggie up your dishes. It's just, it's just so good. Go ahead and try some of these recipes. If you guys do, post a photo to Instagram, tag me at La Comida Jeremy. I'm gonna see you guys later, but before I go, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Join the familia. Also, be sure to follow me on my social medias. I'm on TikTok now, Instagram. I have my website, lacomidajeremy.com. Follow me, let's stay connected. I love recipes, I love to share photos with you guys, and if you guys follow me on my social medias, you will see more food, I promise you. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, y hablamos ahorita. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.